Hi, I'm Mark Snyder. I work for Collage, the only national youth-driven network of people with a lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer parent. Recently, my dad came out as gay, and I learned through Collage that by connecting with a community of my peers, my difference was my strength. There were a lot of times throughout my life that I started to learn that my difference was my strength. My fifth grade teacher, who allowed me to express my creativity, made my life so much better by allowing me to be me. My mom and dad made my life better by allowing me to twirl baton when all I wanted to do was make a routine to some pop music. My babysitter Edna made it better for me by allowing me to purchase pretend makeup at the local store, even though her husband was uncomfortable by it. There were a lot of people growing up who made my life a living hell, but there were a few people a few allies who saved me. Even when I was having suicidal thoughts, it was the reminder that those people were out there loving me and supporting me that kept me alive. Some of the first allies I ever met were on the internet relay chat site. That was before YouTube and before Google and Twitter and Facebook. And I was able to find adults who were openly lesbian, gay, bi, trans, and queer online, and they gave me so much hope. Now we have lots of communities online to connect with, so I encourage you to do that. Connect with the community of your peers at the coffee shop, at a yoga class you have to drive an hour and a half to like I did, or online. There are a lot of things you can do to make your community better. You can start or join an alliance of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, or queer youth and allies. And you can contact the GSA network to help you form one in your school if you don't already have one. If you're a teacher, stand in the hallway between classes. The simple presence of one teacher in the hallway might prevent a student from being pushed into their locker or called a faggot for the millionth time. Making it better doesn't just mean looking out for ourselves. It means eliminating poverty, and it means eliminating queer homelessness and bullying and all the systems of oppression that are out there. After college and after all the struggles I had been through, of course people still call me faggot on the street. They still call me sissy. But now, I have it tattooed on my arm. And that's kind of a reminder of how I draw my strength from my femininity. And if somebody calls me a faggot or a sissy, I just say, uh, duh, 